Hello YouTubers and fellow Screenix fans, my name is Daryl from Final Fantasy Fan. Today we're doing our Let's Play Pokemon Green Nuzlocke Challenge. Unfortunately yesterday I encountered some technical difficulties, so I'll be jumping straight to where I left off. And hope you guys enjoy. Just setting up the final bits of my stream. Enjoy. There we go. So we were battling this rocket last time. We are in uh, the game corner right now. One of the secret bases of Team Rocket. And we were trying to level Ebon. Or, uh, Pidgeotto. I'm trying to get him to Pidgeot. We also have Wakey, or Drowsy. I think he's close to leveling up to Hypno. That will make him quite powerful. We also have our Jolteon. Fortunately, my Jolton is still... Oh no, I mean luckily my Jolton is already level 25. There we go. The only Pokemon that's in my team that I don't want to level up yet is Flower Bud. Because he's a replaceable Pokemon. So I got three Pokemon that are level 25 now. And then Fishrick is the only one that's level 32. Marcus is 31. Alright, let me get my bearings. Um, there should be a Pokeball up here somewhere. There we go. Hyper Potion, sweet. Let's battle this trainer as well. I like battling trainers because they give a lot more experience. Rocket wants to fight. Sends out Grimer, alright, so we probably should throw in uh, Wakey now. Because he's good against potion type Pokemon. Fight. Um, confusion. There we go. Easy as that. Got a coughing. Keep Wakey in the in the fray because he can just pretty much one shot all of these. And then we got another coughing. Rockets like bug type Pokemon. Bug and Potion. Specifically Potion. Lots of Coughings and Ekans and Arbox here. Not so many Weezings yet. Alright, defeat another Rocket. I can't do it. We got 600. appears. We got word from you upstairs that you were coming. Right, interrupting this for a small second. Just bear with me guys.
There we go. Oh, we're ready to go. Sorry for that. Just posted my uh, a stream on one of my other channels. Okay, I don't want to use Ebon yet. And I have double audio. There we go. Choose a Pokemon. Fish Rick. Probably should have used my phone for that. Alright, he's down. He's about to set another macho. Um E bolden, let's go. I can hear my audio glitch a little bit, but that's mainly due to that my computer is still rendering and uploading videos on my YouTube channel. So it's taking a lot of CPU from it. Luckily this emulator doesn't use that much. There we go. Six thirty for winning, sweet. TM10, sweet. That's a pretty good one. I think that's double edge. Alright, got another sort of mace here. Sick, Rick has arrived. Hey, Rick, welcome to the stream. Awesome. Glad you can make it, man. Oh, you're sick. That's not good. What you do, stay up too late again? Welcome Stanley to the stream. I took the wrong one here. Gotta retry that one. You're the last one to join Stan. Marvin and Ricardo already joined the chat before. Stop meddling in Team Rocket's affairs. Let's go. Had some food, drunk a glass of water, and my head started with spinning. Yeah, stop smoking, dude. <laughs> stop smoking. Yeah, 
these Pokemon are useless. They're good for getting experience though, but... Probably should start using Marcus again. I think Stanley just left. I wanted to ask him a question, but it seems he already left. The guy who made a comment, that's actually another brother of Ricardo. Who was here last video. I'm not sure if he ever played Pokemon. I know he did play Pokemon, but I'm not sure if he ever played the Generation 1 Pokemon. Because he is a little bit younger than us. Oh, you are still here. Then Rick left. Oh my god. Yo, Stan, did you ever play Gen 1? Did you ever play Pokemon Red, Blue, or Yellow, or Green, even? I know you didn't play Green. Didn't you play, like, at a later stage with uh, Ruby and Sapphire? Pretty sure you played Pokemon, but I'm not sure what stage you did. Super effective. Oh no, that's not good. Oh, you played blue and red. I'm doing a special Nuzlocke run here. Basically means that uh, if a Pokemon gets fainted, like if it dies, then I should release it and I'm, and I'm no longer allowed to use it. So basically all my Pokemon have only got one life. Alright, and there's a Venusaur. There we go. To make, to make matters worse is that on every route, on every new route I join, I'm only allowed to capture the very first Pokemon that I encounter. So for every route I can only have one Pokemon, and then if they die, they die. I need to release them out of my Pokebox and never use them again. It makes Pokemon a lot harder than usual. Flowers from the HP up, sweet. So you're limited to the amount of Pokemon, as well as to uh, if they die, they're gone forever. So you gotta make sure they never die. Which is not that hard at the start, but once you get to the later stage, like Elite Four, etc., things could get hard. What was the last Pokemon game you played, Stanley? So close. Couldn't you just die? Flowers got 630. Sweet. So we both have our Venusaur and our Hypno now. Hypno looks, uh, Hypno looks like Mr. Burns from The Simpsons. Well, this thing is powerful, so I'm happy with it. Oh no, I dropped the lift key. Thanks. Flowers on a TMO2. So 
So I got my key now. Now I need to find the way to the elevator, wherever that was. I think it was down here, but I'm not certain. Nope. It's down here, alright. Um, that would do, I suppose. Stanley, what was the last Pokemon game that you played? Do you remember? Or was like Blue and Red the only Pokemon game you played? By the way, Rick, after after I'm done with my Pokemon Green Nuzlocke challenge, we can try and do a... Uh, what do you call this? You can try and do a dual stream, but let me Pokemon Red and Blue. Oh, just use the same elevator twice. I might go with Pokemon Red, because Green is kind of like a copy of Blue. Blue used to be... Uh, green used to be the pre-release of Blue in Japan. Are you lost, you little rat? Let's go. Rocket wants to fight. Rocket sends out Grimer. Gonna use Wakey here. But it failed. Good luck. Oh wait, he's a Hypno now, I forgot. But he was still drowsy. Instant kill, there we go. Got a coughing here. Just gonna use confusion on him as well. Instant kill everything here. Let's go to the second floor. I know we need to go to the fourth floor. Yo, Sean, welcome to the stream. Thanks for the like, man. Enjoy the chocobo. Oh. Thanks for the follow as well, man. What games are you into, Sean? Is it Sean or Sheen? What's... How do I pronounce it? Sean? Sheen? Call me Fizz or Fizzy. Alright, that's better. <laughs> Fizz. How can you not see the beauty of their evil? What games are you into, uh, Fizz? This is my first ever live stream. Well, technically my fifth one, but this is the first game ever I'm streaming live. Normally I'm more of uh, playing offline and then recording it and then uploading it to my YouTube channel. Yeah, Fizz. Yeah, I'm just gonna call him Fizz or Fizzy. It's easier. I don't think there's any way you can mispronounce that. Super effective. Central. Hi, welcome. Welcome to the stream, Jose. I look. I, I took Daryl into the world of live streaming with Jake. Yeah, Rick kind of set me up with this. I may. I'm. 
pretty new when it comes to Facebook livestream. You can check out my YouTube channel if you would like. It's called Final Fantasy Fan. Um, I have about 400 videos up there. Mainly uh, random games. PS5 games. Final Fantasy games. Uh, but y YouTube has been my main platform. But for streaming so far, I'm using Facebook. I'm using Streamlabs. Um, but I might get Streamlabs Prime soon. So I can go live on both Facebook, Twitch and YouTube at the same time. I don't have any Pokemon videos yet on my YouTube. I'm doing them live on Facebook. Oh, that thing hurts. I'm doing them live on Facebook and then I will upload the edited versions on my YouTube. I should be watching out here. Definitely need to start healing my Pokemon. Arbok, alright. RPG mainly, but I play, play it all lol. Yeah, main thing for me is RPGs as well. The, obviously I'm called Final Fantasy fan, so um, definitely RPGs. I do a lot of RPGs, but mainly, um, I used to do a lot of JRPGs. Doing a little less JRPGs now because they tend to be uh, bottomless, they can go on forever. But I used to do a lot of them. Well, Jose, it, is it Jose or Jose? It's like the stream, thanks. I, I was kind of reluctant to do, do live streams as well. Because I'm more of, you know, prefer to do perfect runs and then I can always edit the little flaws on my YouTube account. But uh, they actually convinced me to just do it live. It's actually good for your viewer count as well. Ho You're at right, lol. Ho uh, Jose. Jose. Okay. Yeah, I don't know, man. You can. I know that's a name you can pronounce in so many different ways. You and Shio never thought about that. Well, you never knew in the f future. I'm a person who streams without webcam, and so does Daryl. You know, I don't really mind using a webcam. Though, um... My, my house is still a little bit of a mess, still trying to fix it. But, uh, yeah, I don't mind streaming with a webcam, though. But the re main reason I did not use a webcam from the start is because I'm still pretty new to the li a world of live streaming and editing and whatever. So, uh, having no webcam is one less job to do. Exactly, yeah. It's just, you know, I went from offline gaming to streaming. So maybe a camera would be next. Um, still trying to grow my beard as well. So, I have a very fuzzy beard. So my beard is all over my face. But I, the funny thing is, I have, I have myself have like a dark brown hair. But my beard is like orange red. But I'm trying to grow Viking beard here, so but right now it's a mess. So definitely if I'm going to go live streaming, I would definitely have to visit a barber first. <laughs> I'm that kind of guy, you know. I cannot just get out of my bed and like okay, turn on the microphone my uh, camera, here I am, no. <laughs> yeah, dude, definitely. I mean, right now it's pretty small, but I'm, I'm, I'm not sure what I'm going to do with my beard yet. I mean, I've never had a full beard grow yet until like a f couple of like last six months now. So I've been growing it since then, and I kind of love braiding it, man. Oh, a haircut! You know, my haircut has been a while. I can tell you that. 
The only cam I have is an old system Samsung laptop, which I barely can hit OBS. Let's think about Streamlabs. <laughs> For IDP, recording was already tough in OBS. You know, I'm 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 digging the beard, the braided beards, man. I that's so cool, to be honest. Wizard beard. <laughs> oh man. You still have a video of that online? That's something I would love to. I mean, growing a beard that's long and then shaving it, I know that takes a lot of uh, consideration, man, because if it is a wizard beard, it must have been pretty long and probably took you quite a long time to grow it. <laughs> definitely, I'm definitely gonna try and uh, I'm definitely gonna check that out later. I reckon my beard is what, um, seven, eight centimeters. So yeah, it's still little. <laughs> Question mark, Chin Rick, yeah. Billy Goat and that's about it. I've had a hard time growing a full beard, man. It's always certain parts that wouldn't grow. And then I decided to grow a beard again, and then I noticed it's full, it's growing everywhere now. Um, but I have like this fuzzy, fuzzy beard. It's like a, w if you watch uh, Game of Thrones and you watch those wildlings, the guy with the red hair, that's my beard. <laughs> it's all over. I cannot keep it in, I cannot keep it in check. Probably need half a box of wax just to keep it straight. So I'm not going to. So that's why I'm just going wildling mode. Uh, I grow a billy goat. That's what they say. Beer. From what I've heard from my barber, I have a, like a barber shop in. Uh, I live in the Netherlands, so I go to Den Haag to, for the barber shop, and uh, they told me that. Uh, Beard oil? He says it's beard oil is more for your skin than for your beard itself. Because if you're growing a beard, your skin will get dry. That's what he said, but I'm no expert. So I was assuming that beard oil is only actually for the skin underneath your beard. Could be wrong there. We got this Pokeball here. Found iron and iron the sweet. Where are you from, uh Fizz. Sorry, I was gonna say Sean again, but <laughs> I've been to a couple of places all over the world, but uh there's still a few places I'd love to visit. Okay, there's Giovanni. Definitely need to start using some super potions first. Uh, Ebon, let's heal Ebon. Let's also heal Wakey while we're there. New York, Chicago. All right, well, um, America is one of the countries that still love to visit. So far I've been to, well, a lot of European countries. And uh, been to the Philippines and uh, Japan. Definitely love Japan. But uh, USA, yeah, that's still on my bucket list. Though I don't have any specific area in America so far. <laughs> here comes history, Rick. You don't want to come here right now. Uh, I am... Uh, is it really that bad? Let's uh, beat Giovanni while I'm at it. No, I haven't heard anything majorly in the news about the US right now, so I was thinking it's better, getting better, I guess, with all the corona, etc. Okay, let's send in Marcus. Uh, n no, to be honest, <laughs> I, I ditched my, uh, what do you call it? I ditched my cable, because I hardly ever watch TV, man. I, I listen to the radio and sometimes check the news, but uh, that's about it. 
I ditched my cable TV because I never watch TV. I only use my TV for my PS5 and computer, and that's about it. So... I, I heard about the... Uh, that was in America, wasn't it? Like uh, an apartment building collapsing out of nowhere. That's the last thing I heard uh, about news from America. Uh, let's go with Wakey. Corona is getting better, but it's our messed up guff. And cereal press. Americans literally arose. Nice to see you don't want to hold it for too long. <laughs> Them Florence. Alright. <clears throat> I always wanted to go to America, uh, but I got married in 2018, and after that, uh, you know, expenses skyrocketed with having children, a wife, a car, house, etc. So traveling has become a bit more restricted. And especially with Corona as well, man. Corona is like literally preventing us from doing anything we want. Oh man, this thing is enraging. I need to kill it quickly before it starts beating us. Let me use my powerhouse here. This could start to get nasty if I keep him alive a little bit too long here. Critical hit, there we go. Guard spec, sure, whatever. What? This cannot be. Flowers got 2,871 for winning. Sweet. I see that you raise Pokemon with the utmost care. A child like you would never understand what I hope to achieve. I shall step aside this time. I hope we meet again. There you go. Give me your Pokeball. I'm going to go drill horn too if I'm right. Uh, I'm not sure if Genghis Khan could use Horn Drill, man. He doesn't have a horn, does he? I don't think he has a horn. So, um, I'm actually just finished up. I, I uploaded... What did I do? I uploaded 28 videos today on my YouTube channel. I'm actually starting a new series of playthroughs. I'm doing Let's Play PS1 games at the moment. And I just finished uploading Let's Play Alone in the Dark, A New Nightmare. Which is, for me, the only good Alone in the Dark. And I just finished also uploading Mega Man Legends. Yeah, Rick, I did beat all the rockets here. I continued where my game crashed yesterday, so I didn't have to do a full run there. I'm gonna search for the Pokemon Center, and then I'll challenge Erica for the fourth badge. But things you will find mainly on my PS5 is I, I've been doing some Let's Watch, which is basically uh, me watching some visual novels and uh, asking people to join me while watching it. Or playing RPGs. I did play some, uh, which is not an RPG, it's more like an action game. I played some Assassin's Creed Valhalla. Uh, played a lot of Warhammer games. Warhammer Dark Omen, Warhammer Shadow of the Horned Red. Played some Final Fantasy there, still have to beat the first game. I'm doing all the optional dungeons now because I'm playing the PSP version, which has the most updated version of all Final Fantasy 1s. There's a lot of additional dungeons which I'm doing right now. Alright, let's beat Erica. Let me put Hypno on top. Wakey. As soon as we can find them, that is. This, this... Celadon, is it? I think it's called Celadon City. This place is huge, I always get lost here. Yeah, it's Saladin City, there we go. I need to use Cut down here in the bushes. And let me save my game. See, Rick, you didn't even need me to tell. You didn't even need to tell me to save my game. I'm already doing it now. There we go. 
So what games are you guys into? Yeah, you said RPGs, but uh, that's a bit uh, that's a bit broad, bit of a broad answer because there's so many RPGs out there. If you ask me, my favorite RPG of all time is probably um, well, Chrono Trigger is pretty high up that list. Definitely a game I'll be streaming as well in the future. Chrono Trigger, gotta love that game, man. Yeah, my hard drive disk is empty now as well, Rick, so I shouldn't have any crashes while recording. Because I ran out of space. I also just recently pre-ordered... Uh, actually, I didn't... Yeah, I didn't pre... I did pre-order and I just received it. My Final Fantasy VII Remake Integrate, which I will also be playing on my PS5. I already platinumed the Final Fantasy VII Remake. Um... But I got the remake Integrate now here as well for the PS5, so definitely gonna play that in the future. A lot of people are, are uh, bashing on the Final Fantasy VII Remake, but for me, it's actually a pretty good game. Sure, they made a lot of additional content, but isn't that w what the game is all about? I mean, the more content, the better, right, in my eyes. Even though uh, Final Fantasy VII is not in my top, th it's not in my top three when it comes to Final Fantasy games. A lot of people are asking, "You're a Final Fantasy g a fan?" But then, um, how come seven is not in your top three? Well, let me tell you. For me, Final Fantasy VII is a great game, but I think it's receiving too much praise compared to the other titles. Like a dog with an eyeball on its thing. I don't see that, Rick. <laughs> I don't see it like that. And yes, Makey did evolve into a hypno. My top three Final Fantasy seven um, my top three Final Fantasy games are six, nine, and twelve in that order. And then after twelve comes seven. So seven for me is actually in the fourth place. I was getting bored. Alright, let's do this. And he evolved just in time, Rick, because uh, Hypno, or Wakey in this game, would tear through this uh, gym. Because they're all bug type, bug slash grass type Pokemon. It's all super effective. FF12, all over. The rest are less for me. Final Fantasy 12 all over. The rest are less for me. I mean, I love the, the the fact that I uh, choose Final Fantasy 12 for my number three is because I'm a huge fan of the world of Ivalice. Is and that's where Final Fantasy 12 plays. Ivalice. I used to play a lot of Final Fantasy Tactics when I was a kid. Final Fantasy Tactics Advance. And that got me so hooked into the world of Ivalice that uh, I was psyched to learn that Final Fantasy XII was also playing in Ivalice. I'm still trying to get Rick to start playing Final Fantasy XIV so we can stream that as well. But he needs an upgrade for his PC first. You're gonna love that game, Rick, trust me. You're gonna love Final Fantasy XIV. I'm a huge fan of Fantasy XII and barely played others. I prefer Secret of Mana. Secret of Mana is pretty good. Secret of Mana, Secret of Evermore, uh, Children of Mana. Probably forgot a few. I love Final Fantasy IV as well. I actually have a PSP version with the After Years. That's really cool. It's like uh, two games in one. All right, let me beat all these, all these Pokemon trainers here. This is really good XP. Pleased to meet you. My hobby is Pokemon training. 
<laughs> Your messages, Rick, are completely filling up the stream. Execute. Isn't this guy's psychic Pokemon as well? Yeah, see, it's not very effective. I knew it. What else? Headbutt. There we go. Barrage. Sigur of Mana and Chrono Trigger Final Fantasy. Don't forget Dragon Quest, man. Do not forget Dragon Quest. It's not as f famous here in Europe. I know that in America they had Dragon Warrior, which is basically Dragon Quest. How come this tree respawn? I think this is a glitch in the emulator. Whenever I cut a tree and I go into battle, that tree regrows. There we go. We haven't had much Dragon Quest here. It only started blowing out when it... Uh, Dragon Quest VIII. Cursed of... I forgot what it's called. Mask of the Cursed Queen? King? Whatever. Completely forgot the name, but Dragon Quest VIII, that's the first game that became big here. Before that, I don't think many people knew about Dragon Quest to begin with. Hey, there's an Ivysaur. I'm also gonna do some unboxing videos in the future for my channel. Uh, I actually got a box here sitting in my living room containing about a hundred Super Nintendo games. But it's actually not the Super Nintendo games that I'm curious about. There's also uh, some really old Square Enix, no, not Square Enix, Square games in there. So before Squaresoft. I'm really keen on unboxing those things. No fan, not played it. Still need to play games like Gaia, Luvia and many others. So you definitely need to start playing Dragon Quest then. I mean, Luvia is great. Gaia, I'm, I have, not sure if I ever played Gaia. I know Windia and Dragon, uh, Breath of Fire. Breath of Fire and Windia, those are really good games as well. You better not underestimate girl power. All right, let's do this. Cool trainer sends out a weeping bell. It's using hyper potion, all right. Just gonna knock you out again. Became confused. <laughs> oh man, it still it still did stun spore on me. Here we go, uh, Paralysis Heal, there we go. Yeah, you kill yourself, good night. Stop using Hyper Potion, man. So did you guys ever try a, a Nuzlocke challenge? Jose or uh, Fizz? Or you guys don't really, you're just watching streams rather than playing the game itself. Oh, this guy's getting annoying. He keeps paralyzing me. Dude. No, oh, that's potion powder, that's okay. I'll remove that after the battle. Level 30, there we go. Ivy Sour. She just used three hyper potions on her Pokemon, man. This this trainer's rich. There we go. Super effective. Good night.
After this, I'm gonna beat Erica. Don't bring any bugs or fire Pokemon in here. I'm using a Psychic, though. That's wants to fight, sends out Orish. It's a one-hit wonder. There we go. Good night. Gloom. This one could probably uh, survive my confusion. Never mind. Um, I'm thinking whether I should return to the Pokemon Center and restore my PP for Psychic Confusion. Four. Mm. Tree. Welcome, Catherine, to the chat. Glad you could make it. Need to revive and uh, not not revive my Pokemon. I just need to restore the PP. I don't know which Pokemon Eric I have, but they're probably not gonna be weak, so... Enjoy your work. What time will you be working? Till what time will you be working? Nine or ten. All right. That's actually my wife there, Catherine. She's working right now. Secret. All right. See you soon, love you. It's time to beat Erica, Rick. Should I save? Yeah, let me save just in case. I can't reload anyway on this challenge, but in case the game in case the game crashes, so here we go. Hello lovely weather, isn't it? It's so pleasant. Oh dear, I must have dozed off. Welcome. My name is Erica. I am the leader of Saladin Gym. I teach the art of flower arranging. My Pokemon are of the grass type. Oh, I'm sorry. I had no idea that you wished to challenge me. Very well, but I shall not lose. Erica wants to fight. That's a victory bell. That looks weird, man, in Pokemon Green. Sleep powder, alright. Luckily I stocked up on awakenings. Oh, I only have two though. Potion powder, I can live with that. Confusion. Wakey leveled up. I think most of my Pokemon will be level 32 soon. 
Just gonna level Ebon a little bit more. Constrict. Tingala is not being affected by um, confusion, apparently. Oh, I need to remove this potion now. Com better, co uh, combined with blind? This is killing me. There we go. about to use Vile Plume. Vile Plume should be weak against Confusion as well. I swear these Pokemon look so weird in Pokemon Green. There we go, one hit wonder. Flowers defeated Erika. Well, there's the fourth badge. Oh, I concede defeat. You are remarkably strong. I must confer to you the Rainbow Badge. Flowers got 2,871. Isn't that the exact the same amount that Giovanni gave us when we beat him as well? The Rainbow Badge will make Pokemon up to level 50 obey. It has also allowed Pokemon to use strength in and out of battle. Please also take this with you. Flowers receive TM21. TM21 contains Mega Drain. Half the damage it inflicts is drained to heal your Pokemon. That might be good for uh, Venusaur, but he might learn that naturally, I think. So four gyms down. I forgot how many Pokemon we have. Let's check our Pokedex. So I own 22 Pokemon. I cleared four gyms and I didn't lose a single Pokemon yet. Let's try and keep it that way. Let's try to clear a Nuzlocke challenge without losing a single Pokemon. Gonna go hit the Pokemon Center real quickly, and then we'll make our way to uh, getting Fly, I guess. We should probably get the Fly HM by now. I forgot where we get fly. I think it was on the near the near the bicycle route. Okay, so we go west from here. Route 16. Where's my bicycle at? Sorry guys, I just realized I didn't put my items in the uh, computer. So if I don't do that now, I'll probably have to go back later. So might as well do it now before I run out of storage space. The thing with the older generation Pokemon is that there's you only have a very little amount of item space. So if you don't take care of it immediately, you're gonna run out of space immediately. Gonna drop all these TMs. Drop the rare candy as well. Drop the HP up. Can already drop the lift key as well since we don't need that anymore. That's only for the Team Rocket hideout. And let's drop TM2. Let's drop the iron as well. I'm gonna hang on to the uh, Sylph scope because we do need that. TM21, there we go. Jump back on the bicycle. I'm 
We can actually start catching a new Pokemon here. Um, oh, Snorlax is there. Never mind. Pokemon. Flower butt cut. So there are two... I thought there was only one Snorlax in this game, but there are two Snorlaxes in this game then. Because this is a second one. Um, Yo, Jake, welcome to the stream, man. Okay, so I'm not going to catch any Pokemon in this grass then, because this Snorlax is then another option for Route 16. So I don't want to do that yet. I'm going to try and catch that, uh, that Snorlax. How'd you get in? Good effort. Thanks for sharing the stream, Jake. Appreciate it. Is it? No. Remember the first one was... It? Wait, where was the first one? The first one was near the Diglett Cave, man. First one was, uh, poo. where was it? I actually forgot where it was. But I'm pretty sure this is the second one. So there are two Snorlaxes in here. Oh, you found my secret retreat. Please don't tell anyone I'm here. I'll make it up to you with this. That's fly. There we go. HMO2 is flying. It will take you back to any town. Put it to good use. I'm gonna teach that immediately to Pichotto. Even though Pichotto is gonna be my battling Pokemon, fly is not too bad of a move. Sleepy voice. But Ivan can't learn more than four moves. Delete an older move to make room? Definitely. Yeah, play the flute. I don't have the flute yet. Um, I think you get the flute from the ghost tower, don't, don't you? I think that's where you get the poker flute from, but I'm not entirely sure. I learned fly. I just wanted to get this fly HM out of the way. So, um, now we are going to the Pokemon tower. Oh, uh, that is how we wake you, Jake. Play the flute. <laughs> Ball. Uh, Vermilion, Leven no, it's Lavender, there we go. Alright, um, we haven't caught a Pokemon yet in the tower, so I'm definitely gonna see if we can capture a Ghost-type Pokemon. Because I still need a sixth replacement for Flower Butt. Yo, Jake, the Pokemon I got right now are a Hypno, a Pidgeotto, which will be a Pidgeot in the end. I got Cloud Strife here. Cloud Strife is a um, Jolteon, Spiky Boy. Marcus is a Venusaur. Fishrick is a Gyarados. So we have Gyarados, Venusaur, Jolteon, Pidgeot, and Hypno. Probably need a Fire Pokemon. I don't think I need a Ghost Pokemon, actually, because I have Hypno. 